Begin by removing the tops of the plants. They are not needed and can be discarded. Carefully remove the roots of the plants from the existing soil. Remove any excess soil from the plant roots before proceeding. Place the roots onto two stacked sieves, a 60 on the bottom and 20 mesh on the top. Spread the roots evenly across the top sieve. Blast the roots with a forceful stream of water to dislodge the cysts from the plant roots. Flip the roots over and blast again. After blasting, the roots are no longer needed and can be discarded. After blasting the roots, take a 100cc aliquot of the soil that the roots came from and place directly into another pitcher. Blast the soil with a forceful stream of water and pour immediately onto the top sieve. Repeat this blasting of the soil with a new aliquot of soil every time until all soil has been used. Transfer the contents of the 60 mesh sieve onto a pre-wetted stack of 100 mesh, 325 mesh, and 500 mesh sieves. Using a rubber stopper, crush the cysts into the sieve to release the eggs. Rinse the sieve and remove the top sieve.
use the rubber stopper again to crush any remaining cysts that may have made it through the top sieve. Rinse the 325 mesh sieve and remove it. Transfer the contents of the 500 mesh sieve into a waiting 100 milliliter centrifuge tube. Centrifuge the samples at 3500 RPM for 3 minutes, allowing it for extra time for the centrifuge to reach top speed. After centrifuging, gently pour off the supernate from the sample. Next, add the sucrose solution to the centrifuge tube. Mix the sample in the sucrose solution thoroughly. Once thoroughly mixed, return the sample to the centrifuge for another spin at 3 minutes at 3500 RPM. After this second centrifugation, pour the contents of the tube onto a wettened 500 mesh sieve. Rinse away any excess sugar water. At the end of the process, you should see a fine line of eggs at the bottom of the sieve. Transfer the contents of the small sieve into a waiting 50 milliliter tube. 